A substitute teacher is now facing charges after police say she pushed four students. Police tell us the students were told to face the wall for acting out in class, but say the sub pushed their heads against the wall. News Six's Lauren Korn is in Daytona Beach with more on what the substitute told the students and the charges she's now facing. The school district tells me they hired this teacher back in 2017. She's never had any complaints until now. And because of these charges, they say she's no longer allowed to teach in any Volusia County schools. That's not something that should anybody should be doing to a kid in a school or anywhere else, really. Substitute teacher 59 year old Moga Kodzi is facing child abuse charges, accused of physically reprimanding four girls because they were laughing at her. Their teacher had uh, uh, Put, I guess put them in timeout, and when the children turned around, I guess they were watching a movie, and they kept turning around, and she uh, went up to them, all four of them, and um, hit their heads on, on, on the wall where they were facing. The incident happened Friday morning at Turie T. Small Elementary School. Police say Kanzi also called the seven and eight year old girls evil. It's just unfortunate that, that this had to come to that, to a corporal punishment, and also calling them, you know, uh, a, a very strong word, which, you know, that in, is not right either because these children are just too young for that kind of thing. So. Two of the four families wanted the school to handle the incident. The other parents pressed charges. Uh, we do have a school resource officer in all of our schools that are there for that reason, and we, and unfortunately, this time we had to do it against the teacher. Kodzia since bonded out of jail, we went to her apartment in Daytona Beach, but was told to leave. According to our report, the teacher said that she did line up the children against the wall because they were misbehaving, but she denied that she struck them or did anything to them that was physical. Police say one girl complained of her head hurting, but none of the children were seriously hurt. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6.